if you are a super fan of Lady Gaga, uh, you're not gonna like this review. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to today's video. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I am going to be testing out, I've had it for a couple of weeks, but the house, I think it's House Beauty or House Laboratories by, I think this is Lady Gaga's line, it is. But yeah, House Laboratories. Um, I wasn't sure if it was like pronounced differently, but from what I've seen across the internet, it is House. Um, and I just got a couple of things that I just wanna kinda go over with you guys and review and let you know how I feel about them. So before we get started, as always, if you're not already subscribed, just make sure you hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and the bell next to it so you're instantly notified when I upload. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so. I know that I have kind of been like off and on lately. Um, there's a lot of changes that I'm going to be doing to my channel and I've been really working um, and doing that. I've been working with my husband who does like all the behind the scenes stuff to kind of um, figure out really what I want to do uh, with my channel. Like what is the right amount of times to record? Um, what are the types of things that I really want to do? Obviously, like this is an all beauty related channel, but do I want to take that and expand? Do I want to go clothes, fashion? Do I want to do, you know, skincare? Do I want to do nails? Do I want to do hair care? And there's just so much going on that I really want to share with you guys and I want to make this a super fun environment. Um, obviously I want to do reviews because why not? Like they're super fun to test and try new makeup. But I don't want this channel just to be reviews. I want it to be kind of fun. So I think I'm gonna start doing things like shop my stash and all that other super fun stuff. But I did buy the house laboratories um, items. And when I first, when it first launched, I'm not gonna lie, I got on the website and I just wasn't intrigued I wasn't um what's the word interested <laughs> uh I did want to get a couple items just so you guys could kind of like see it and how I thought about it and have like an honest review of someone who paid for it themselves wasn't sent to me um so this is a hundred percent like my own opinion I got three items they had a like um eyeliner they had face stickers, which I, maybe Halloween, but other than that, like I'm not gonna put a bunch of lacy face stickers on my face. That's definitely a Lady Gaga thing to do. That's just not who I am, nor am I going to be going to work with a bunch of lacy stickers on my face. All right guys, so I have my phone. I'm gonna tell you everything on there instead of just guessing because, well. So they have the first picture, I'll show it. I don't know if you can see. So if you look right here, these like lacy lining stuff, those are, that's not liner, that's stickers. And I thought it was really weird. So they have a liquid liner, they have an eye set, they have the lacy masks I was telling you about. Lip glosses, I did get a lip gloss. Um, they have lip liners, I got one of those. And then they got Glam Attack Liquid Shimmer Powder. So it's a cream shadow basically. And that is really all they have. They just have it in a couple of different colors. Um, I get that this was like a, like a small launch kind of thing to her own brand. But at the same time, I just didn't feel, I didn't feel like interested in it. I wasn't like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. It was more like, oh, I kind of want to have it to review for you guys. But it wasn't something that I was like, oh, I definitely need that in my collection. Um, and then I decided for the video that I wasn't going to do a full face of makeup because I think her items would do really well with like a no makeup makeup look um, just because they're very light. They're not like heavy like eyeshadows and blushes and highlighters it's just like the simple basics so i want to kind of do that so that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to take off this makeup that i have which is not her makeup okay so i got most of the glitter off of my face so i am able to apply that cream shadow that i got and the lip item that i got i got three different things a lip liner in rule and i haven't used any of these a 
This is the Lip Gloss in Attitude. And then the Cream Shadow in Aphrodite. Um, I will tell you the packaging, the way that it came, like this came like this in the package. Um, it's just very mismanaged and kind of like careless. But um, that could have happened in shipping. That could have happened anywhere. So the first thing I want to try is definitely the Cream Shadow. So, oh, I do like the packaging here. So it just comes in this like really cute tube. You know what this reminds me of? I won't lie to you. It reminds me of the Mini MUA lip tube, but just a little bit different and kind of upside down. But it comes where it's clear here and you can see the color and then it's just black. So it is a cream um, shadow. So I'll go ahead and put some on my hand for you to see. This one is like a beigey, champagne-y, a little bit of pink color going on. So what I'm going to do with this is because my favorite kind of shadows when I'm doing a no makeup look are like cream ones. But I like to go in with a nude just to kind of give it a little bit of dimension. So I'm going to go in with Persephone from the Lunar Beauty Greek Goddess palette and just do for my crease up a little bit. Remember this is like a new makeup look so it doesn't have to be super dark, it doesn't have to be super bold. Just enough to give it a little color and a little dimension. And you're putting that cream shadow right over it and I will probably just apply that with my finger like I do most of my cream shadows, it's easier that way. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that shadow and what I'll do is I put it on my hand so I'm not wasting it and then I'll go in with my finger and just kind of get it all over the lid and then up just a little bit. Well, oh, it's kind of exactly what I had on before which was the Kylie Glitter Eyes, I think it's what it's called. But this is, it's very sheer. Like I knew it was gonna be sheer, but this is like, I don't know. I feel like this would be more of like an eyeshadow topper or like a no makeup eyeshadow. Like I definitely do not think that this is going to be good by itself or like as a shadow per se. Oh, uh, ah, there's glitter everywhere though. I also had glitter on my eyes before, so that doesn't count, but it, it is kind of like glitter central on my face. I'm going to put a little bit more on my hand to do this one. It's like, it's a weird consistency. It's really thin, but when you kind of play with it, you can build it on the eye. So if you're not really into like super ton of makeup, you just like, a little looky look or a little pop of shimmer or color or, you know you're just doing like a go to work real fast look then this is going to be something you like it just doesn't really fit my vibe with the kind of stuff that I usually like to do makeup wise like I just feel like when you're told Lady Gaga is coming out with a makeup line you expect it to be like fierce and like crazy and popping and I just feel like it was bleh. like I'm not gonna lie to you guys I don't think that this is worth what I paid for I think I paid like $49 for all three of these so $49 for all three but I pay but individually I will tell you the prices so individually this cream shadow is $20 I have very similar ones from ColourPop that cost me like six bucks. So, no. <laughs> That's a little crazy. I just, I'm not a fan at all. Um, this is just a regular everyday pencil liner. Don't know why I did that. And this is in the color Rule. And it just reminds me of a MAC pencil or a NYX pencil, if you know what those look like. So it did go on pretty creamy, pretty easily. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with that. It's pretty smooth lip liner, I won't lie. 
And because it's a gloss, I'm gonna try to fill in a decent amount of my lips. All right, so I filled them in pretty well. I won't fill them in all the way, but I filled them in a lot. I don't mind the lip liner, uh, but $16. NYX has some pretty good ones for a little bit cheaper than that, so I was not a fan. Not the best way to spend $16. So this is Attitude Lip Gloss, and this is $18. So it's just like the cream shadow, has the color here, the pointed top. I'm hoping that she'll add more stuff more stuff to, it's a really weird applicator too. I'm hoping she'll add more stuff to, like claws like this, <laughs> more stuff to her line, but, and like more like fitting for Lady Gaga. I just feel like this was so boring. Like when you think Lady Gaga, you think like popping, crazy, like just so creative and this just did not, no. Like this lip gloss is okay. It's kind of thick. So if you guys have used Lunar Beauty's lip gloss, it's one of my favorite, that and Kylie's, because it's not super, super thick. This I feel like is like a little bit thicker than I like it. But it's definitely pigmented. It doesn't have a scent and I feel like it's gonna stay in place. So I do like that it's pigmented. The only problem is, is it, it has lip liner underneath. So I don't know whether it's really as pigmented. Well, yeah, it's a pretty pigmented gloss, but because it's a little bit thicker of a formula, it's not gritty, which is good. Um, because it's a little bit thicker of a formula, I feel like it will last a lot longer than some of my other lip glosses, which is a good thing. Um, especially if you are like drinking your coffee or you talk on the phone at work or whatever you might be using your mouth for, I feel like it's going to last longer than your normal lip gloss. So I do like that. Um, if I had to pick, that would probably be like my favorite thing of all of this. Um, I really plan on getting a lot of it, but then when I realized it's all the same crap, just different colors, I was just like, Oh, okay. So I paid $49 for all three pieces. They give you collections or you can buy them separately and change up the colors and all that. But I honestly, this will probably be the last time that I buy something from that company. Um, one, because of the way the packaging was, the boxes weren't even closed. It looks like they literally slid the stuff in there and just threw it in the bag. Um, and two, it just was so boring I, I mean even the package like it's nice but it just didn't it didn't really pull me in so when I first saw it I was like oh okay and then now like after using it I'm not the biggest fan um but I have to be honest with you guys and I just really I wouldn't want you to waste your money on something that I feel like you could get at a drugstore for way cheaper than what they are charging. And I just think it's a very, it's the very opposite of what I would think if someone said, hey, Lady Gaga made her own makeup line. Like I would immediately go to like crazy. I think the craziest thing she had was those like um, stick on masks. And I'm like, who is actually buying those for other than Halloween? I mean, leave me a comment below. Maybe you are buying them and maybe you do wear them on a regular basis and that's fine, that's cool, we're all different, but I'm not going to buy them and stick them on my face. So uh, let me know if you guys bought anything, if you're planning on buying anything, um, how do you feel about it, prices, options, etc. But for me, I think it was the bust and I think it'll probably be the last time that I buy something from them unless they come out with more of a creative like I guess collection so again guys just bear with me while my uh, channel is under construction and I will be filming and getting videos up for you one to two times a week for right now and we'll be going from there and as always guys make sure you give this video a big thumbs up I missed you I love you have a fantastic rest of your week bye